guys, it's Lynn again with Littlefoot Nursery. Um, I know my last video probably came as a little bit of a surprise because you guys didn't know that my husband and I were planning to go see an outdoor Nutcracker performance, but but we did. It was a little bit of a late notice decision. Um, normally around the holidays, I like to, um, I, I don't do it every year, but on some years I have gone to, you know, to the ballet. I have taken Audrey a couple times or have gone with my mom. Funny enough, my husband has never got, come with me because we didn't think my son could sit through the performance. So, um, so this time though, we got babysitting and decided to kind of go as like a little bit of an anniversary celebration so um and i know it's it's winter and it's it's really chilly but um i have here a reborn baby clara she's the levi sculpt by bonnie brown and um i'm gonna put her into this really really cute um it's it's kind of like a little like almost like a little ballerina tutu onesie by winnie with winnie the pooh so i just thought this was so cute and given that um you know we just went to the nutcracker i thought it would be just kind of a fun, <laughs> fun outfit to change her into, even though the reality is it's a little chilly for that. Um, I will say here in Southern California, the weather is getting cooler. So I mean, it's getting cooler, but it's pretty chilly in the mornings and in the evenings. But the daytime, it's actually really nice. Like it's been in the 70s. So, um, so yeah, very, very pleasant, very nice weather and still pretty warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Clara in this. And yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was like not really kind of our normal um, doll videos, but I just thought, you know what, it's the holidays. And I know here we are back at a stay at home order in California just due to the rising cases. Um, so I know a lot of us are not getting to really go places. So I've actually personally enjoyed watching YouTube videos where people are like, you know, where other people have kind of gone places and just getting a, a chance to kind of live vicariously a little bit. Um, but yeah, it really like amazes me how creative all the businesses have gotten in light of this pandemic. Um, so yeah, so it, it was good to kind of go support, support them. And, and we enjoyed the show. It was, um, the thing that was like slightly nerve wracking for me was, you know, we watched from our cars and, um, Oh my gosh, this is so cute on her. We watch from our cars and like, you know, the, we have to you keep your windows rolled down so that you can actually get some air circulating. Otherwise it gets really, really stuffy. Then you listen to the music on a radio station that they tell you to listen to. Oh my gosh, this is such a perfect fit for her. So this is from the shop Disney store, I, I you know, or Disney baby. I've had it for a while, but it's size zero to three months. And Clara actually is newborn size. So you can see that this, um, you know, it's a little bit on the smaller end of zero to three months, but um, oh my gosh, this is so cute on Clara. She's never worn this before. Oh, hi Clara. So um, yeah, that's so funny. Anyway, yeah, she has not worn this. She hasn't worn this before. So I thought, um, I don't know. I just, I just kind of wanted to put <laughs> put one of my babies in something froofy given that we just saw these the nutcracker and they have just beautiful costumes i just adore the costumes the music is beautiful i just think it's a it's a really really wonderful performance it was about an hour long i think it's shorter than the standard nutcracker because i think they i think they had to do an abbreviated version they must have cut out certain things because i think the normal show is like maybe an hour and a half perhaps or two hours but it felt like it was fairly complete at the same time um there was dance at the sugar plum fairy waltz of the flowers like all the kind of um standard dances that they do so anyway um but yeah we we had a lot of fun um and yeah it's just hard to believe yeah we've been married now 14 years so so pretty pretty crazy <laughs> Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been a very, very hard, like, um, it just, I think 2020 has been really hard for us because with the kids being home all the time and having two special needs children and not having the normal supports that we get with, um, all the therapies, it's, it's been definitely rough at times. Um, 
and you know the kids have like more behavioral challenges because they're just sort of cooped up at home and you know we're we're going to try to get them outside every single day um because i do think that helps um but yeah they they go very stir crazy really really quickly so oh sorry i'm so tired i'm like i've just been you know working hard at work work is busy and you know i and just it, it was just one of those you know tough weeks it was the first week back after um you know the thanksgiving break and um you know there was like some yeah just some challenges uh with you know one of our clients and yeah you know just just not not an, not an easy week for sure and and then there are some then there are little things that happen with like colleagues and you know stuff like that that you know, sort of get on your nerves here and there you know that sort of stuff and and then you just sort of realize like you know, I think we all just, you know, I think at the end of the day, we can only just try to do our best. And that's all we can ask of, ask and expect of each other and, and ourselves, you know. So, so that's just something I was, I was thinking about more. Um, but yeah, anyway, here's Clara. She's just looking so cute. Um, yeah. And I don't know how you guys are feeling. You know, we, we, we still need to put up our tree. We're not really... We have, I, I feel like I'm done with um, my gift shopping, which is great, but um, still need to get, um, you know, kind of the, uh, the greeting cards like addressed and sent out and, and I don't know whether to send, uh, you know, any holiday cards to my coworkers or whether it's like a little bit sooner. I don't, I don't know if other people send cards or not, you know, I don't know if they send that to each other. Um, one person I work with sent me a card, but I don't know if other people do that as a practice, um, or not. And yeah, so I'm just trying to kind of figure out, you know, what's the etiquette there. And then, um, yeah, and I, I'm just really, really tired. It's just been a very long week. So, um, yeah. Oh, oh, the other thing I wanted to just mention, I had seen, um, a post by, I don't, can't remember if I commented on this or not, but I think it was, was it Inez? Somebody posted, you know, something, um, like reposted something from Bonnie Brown that, you know, she's, I think it's been very, very disheartening for her seeing so many people copying her kits. And specifically with Levi, I have definitely seen people copying, taking this kit and copying it in silicone. And that's, that's total, totally just, that's stealing her work and it's really, really wrong. And, and it's frustrating for her. So she's almost like wondering, like, should she still do vinyl kits? And I, I don't know, my vote in that is she absolutely should still do vinyl kits. It makes her beautiful babies more accessible to everyone. But I understand why somebody would want to do a small silicone edition instead, because you, know, you have kind of the full control of your end product start to finish the challenge with silicone is it doesn't last for that many molds. And so maybe if you're lucky, you can get 20 or 25 in an addition, but sometimes the addition breaks down after like 10 babies. And so then that ends up driving the price up because, you know, only very few people can get a hold of that kit. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to, I don't know what you guys think about all of that, but I, I just think it's so, it, it, you know, that it's so, um, it ma makes me so sad that artists have to like worry about that and to kind of rethink how they're approaching their, their business. I mean, I, I know we talked about limited edition versus open edition, and I think there's pros and cons to both, but you know, at the end of the day, like I, I feel like for an amazing sculpt like Levi, it would be such a shame if Levi were a limited edition because somebody who fell in love with the sculpt couldn't go and get a Levi created. It would be such a shame but yeah this baby is to me just utter perfection <laughs> this is a baby that when i was um holding in my arms at the rose doll show you know the very first year i went she um clara was the one that i brought she just looks incredibly real in your arms like she really really does and and i just love how her limbs are curled up she's just a perfect sculpt in my opinion but it would be a shame if you know, there are only a few made, like, and then not as many people got to enjoy it. But um, that being said, I do very much treasure and appreciate my baby Lynn, who is a one of a kind. And, um, and it does make her special that, you know, she's 
there's she's like the only one of baby Lynn out there. So a lot of people have emailed me asking, where can I get a baby Lynn? And the answer is you can't, unfortunately, because she is a one of a kind. Um, but yet, you know, I, yeah, so I think there's just, I guess it's pros and cons. You know, it's special if you own a, um, you know, more limited edition type of baby. But, um, but then if you're the person who wants to acquire that doll, it can be very, um, it can be such a bummer and so disappointing and frustrating if you can't get a hold of, of that doll. So I, I, I get it. I know that's, I know that's tough. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, Clara is going to say bye and I do hope you guys enjoyed the Nutcracker performance. Let me know if any of you guys have gone to see a Nutcracker performance in your area outdoors, um, and whether, you know, people have done anything different just with the whole pandemic situation. All right, guys, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.